Hello and welcome to the Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.4.1 What's New video. There's a lot of exciting new capabilities, so let's jump right in. By far the biggest new capability is Qt Modeler support for mesh files. This happens in one of two ways. One, you'll notice in the layer tree there's a new model subfolder called meshes, so mesh models can be imported directly as a model. And the other way is as an OBJ mesh model as part of a marker. Here you see a helicopter and a telephone pole as two examples. We're calling this Geospatial Augmented 3D because it allows users to enhance their 3D data with 3D models that may have not been part of the original scene. The other thing it can do is dramatically enhance things like this spike where a telephone pole is. It doesn't appear properly in the DSM, so users can just smooth this uh, spike out, close out the editing tool. The hotkey for dropping an OBJ or mesh object as a marker is J, so hold down J, click, choose telephone pole, and now this new telephone pole augments the 3D scene and represents objects that may not have appeared in the 3D data. Applied Imagery will provide a small library of OBJ files to use immediately with version 8.4.1, but you can import and create your own OBJ files, and the possibilities are limitless. Support for OBJ files as markers inspired a complete rework of the Edit Marker window. Now there are checkboxes for objects that are attached to markers, such as sensors, or here a UH-60 object, threat domes, and sensor cones. One of the objects that can be attached to a marker is a threat dome, and these have been enhanced for version 8.4.1. Now users have the possibility of adding up to three threat domes attached to the marker, setting the various colors and opacities, and now moving that K-dragging, just like you would normally do for any marker, to move the marker, the object, the sensor dome, all simultaneously throughout the scene. Version 8.4.1 significantly enhances aviation planning tools by adding the ability to orient the flight surfaces on approach and departure independent of each other. In addition, a new section in the flight surfaces tool allows the creation of a marker at the top of descent and top of climb based on user input parameters. Qt Modeler's GRG tool has been enhanced to essentially become a one-stop shop for GRG creation. There's a new section at the top to establish your GRG building tags and reset your counts. And in addition, there's a new user profile for GRG creation. So that's just a quick overview of just some of the new features. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at AppliedImagery.com or give us a call. We'd love to hear from you.